Welcome to EduWAP, your one-stop solution for e-learning. Chapter 1 of Module 1. Commercial Policy. Question 1 will be based on this module. This video will guide you through introduction to commercial policy, tariffs, non-tariffs and miscellaneous protection techniques such as dumping, subsidies cartels, and commodity agreements. Introduction to Commercial Policy Commercial policy means all measures regarding all international economic transactions between the home country and foreign country. The commercial policy are of two types. Free trade policy which means no restriction on movement of goods and services between countries. And protection policy which means safeguarding the home country from imports by imposing tariffs. Tariffs. A tariff is a tax imposed on the import or export of goods. Tariffs can be classified on the basis of origin, qualifications, application, and purpose. On basis of origin. 1. Import duty which is imposed on commodity imported from abroad. Example, India importing goods from UAE. 2. Export duty which is imposed on commodity exported abroad. Example, India exporting goods to UAE. 3. Transit duty, imposed when commodity imported or exported passes through another country. Example, India importing or exporting goods from UAE which will pass through Oman. On basis of qualifications. 1. Specific duty, is a fixed fee charged per unit of an imported commodity. Example, rupees 100 charged on a mobile phone or rupees 500 on a computer imported. 2. Ad valorem duty, is a fixed percentage charged on the goods value. Example, 15% charged on a car valued at $10,000 in USA which will now cost $11,500 in India. Three. Compound duty, is a commodity which is subjected to specific and ad valorem duty. Any one of the two duties will be charged whichever is minimum. Example commodity value equals to rupees 1000, specific duty equals to rupees 100 and ad valorem duty equals to 15%. Therefore, specific duty will be charged as it is lower. On basis of applications. 1. Single Columns Tariff Fixed rate of duty is charged on all commodities for all countries. Example, 10% tariff is charged on all goods imported from UAE, USA, etc. 2. Double Columns Tariff Two rates of duties are charged on some or all commodities for different countries. Example, 5% tariff is charged to UAE and USA while 10% tariff charged to China and Japan. On basis of purpose. 1. Revenue tariff. It is imposed on commodities to earn an income for the country. Example, rupees 50 charged on imports. 2. Protective tariff. It is imposed to restrict imports to protect home industries. Example, 25% duty imposed on import of spices. 3. Countervailing duty. It is imposed on items subsidized by foreign government. Example, X amount imposed plus subsidized commodity equal to the price of home country. 4. Anti-dumping duty. It is imposed when foreign commodities are sold at lesser price than home country. Example, in India. Price of a mobile phone is rupees 10,000, but a foreign seller offers to sell the same phone in rupees 5,000. Effects of tariffs 1. Consumption effect, rise in prices and demand for commodity falls. 2. Competition effect, helps small industries grow strong to compete. 3. Revenue effect, nations earn a revenue. 4. Terms of trade effect, 
reduces countries' offer of exports for imports. 5. The BOP effect reduces imports and increases export surplus. 6. Redistribution effect transfer of income from consumer to producer. 7. Income, employment, money is spent on domestic products rather than imported. 8. Price effect shifts the tariff burden on consumers. 9. Protection rises the price of imported commodity and reduces its demand. Non tariffs. Measures which are used other than tariffs to restrict imports. Non tariff barriers are of two types barriers imposed to restrict imports directly, and barriers imposed to encourage domestic production. Types of non tariff barriers 1. Quotas a limitation in value or in physical terms. 2. VR restriction on the quantity of goods to export. 3. Embargo. Ban on trade for political reasons. 4. Licenses. Permits for importing and exporting commodities. 5. Standards. Safety and health protection of local customers. 6. Customs and administrative entry procedures. 7. Charges on import. 8. Government participation in trade. 9. Specific limitation on trade. 10. Standards. Miscellaneous protection techniques. 1. Dumping. 2. Export subsidies. 3. Cartels. 4. Commodity agreements. Production quota and buffer stock. Dumping. An act of charging lower price for a commodity in a foreign market than the home market. Objective. 1. To grow and expand industry or business. 2. To find a place in international market. 3. To sell surplus commodities. 4. To develop trade relations with other countries. Types. 1. Sporadic dumping. To avoid unforeseen future surplus, example, perishable goods. 2. Predatory dumping. To derive foreign producers out of business. 3. Persistent dumping. Selling at higher price in home country than foreign country. Conditions of dumping. 1. Producers aim to maximize profit. 2. Production equals to marginal cost plus marginal revenue. 3. Quantity is adjusted in domestic and foreign market. 4. Profit equals to marginal revenue of both markets which equals to marginal cost. 5. Elasticity of demand should be unequal in both the markets. 6. Foreign market should be perfectly competitive. 7. Domestic market should be monopolistic. 8. Domestic buyers cannot buy cheap commodity from foreign market. Anti-dumping measures. Imposing tariffs, import quota, and import embargo. Export subsidies. Export subsidy is a government policy to encourage export of goods and discourage sale of goods in domestic markets. Effect on exporting country. Consumers, decrease in benefit. Producers, increase in benefit. Government, increase in benefit. Effect on importing country. Consumers, increase in benefit. Producers, decrease in benefit. Government, no effect. Cartels. A union of industrial producers of different countries to control production and price. Conditions of cartelization. 1. Number of producing firms are small. 2. When industries have already reached cartel agreement. 3. Manufacturing process or fabricated products can be patented. 4. When there is a natural scarcity of raw material. 5. 
when the government cooperates in organization of cartels. Merits of cartels 1. Large scale output 2. Goods sold at cheaper rates 3. Eliminates wasteful competition 4. Solve problems of excess capacity Demerits of cartels 1. Reduces international trade 2. Restricted output 3. High price policy 4. Underutilization of the world's resources 5. Underutilization of the world's manpower 6. Lack of competition 7. Cartel members following production quotas Commodity Agreement it is an agreement undertaken by a group of countries to stabilize trade, supplies and prices of a commodity for the benefit of participating countries. Commodity Market Instability and Uncertainty 1. Fluctuations in market prices due to market condition changing. 2. Change in price due to change in exchange rate. 3. Change in foreign government protectionist measures. Production Quota System A production quota system is an agreement by producers to limit the amount supplied to market place. Buffer Stock System When there is a production surplus and if the prices fall, the buffer stock authority will purchase the surplus. Or When there is a production shortage and if the prices rise, the buffer stock authority will sell the previous acquired stock. Thank you for watching. Share this video and spread the knowledge. You can also tweet me at Noani10. Eduwop, your one-stop solution for e-learning.